Good evening to YouTube, Hardball Crazy Comeback Video. Derek here with another feature of my Uncommon Commons. Uh, he had a pretty decent career. Um, more of an average pitcher tires career, but he had some big highlights. And he was actually a pretty good pitcher over his uh, career. And I'm talking about, as you see, the title is Earl Wilson. You pretty much, probably, probably um, if you're old enough to remember, remember him as the Red Sox and, and Tigers. He ended his career with the Padres one season. Uh, and... Um, Pretty good pitcher, great hitter for a pitcher, and um, he had hit 35 career home runs, including two as a uh, pinch hitter, and he's top five all time in Major League Baseball history for home runs by a pitcher. So he's a solid pitcher, hitter, and a pitcher. Um, I've had his rookie card for a while, it's a 1960 tops uh, card with the Red Sox. I've been Getting, going after some of the more prominent Tigers of the 68 World Series team get their rookie cards, and I got Earl Wilson. Had this card for several years now. Then um, didn't really have much of a Tigers card of him, and I uh, was reading up an article on him on The Athletic, and um, right into the buyout. So you know what? I need to get a Tigers card of him. So I picked up a 69 Tops card today of him. Um, what irritates me, this is part of Tops laziness way back in the day, is that he has basically three cards, three tops cards in the Tigers uniform, 67s with the Tigers, but you can tell it's cropped up with a Red Sox uniform. But the 68, 69, and 70 tops all has pretty much the same photo. I picked up the 69 tops because it's my favorite of the three sets. And the fact that uh, it kind of signifies the 68 tops World Series team, um, which always kind of curious for me is if you were a, a wanted to collect a, a, the team set tops team set of uh, your world of a your world series team whatever people always just go gravitate so oh, 68 tigers let's go for the 68 tops tiger set yeah the 68 tops will have guys from 67 who were uh, gone by 68 season especially during the world series and sometimes traded for some a key figure in the 60 in that world series team and yet, you want to collect the 68. For me, I always wanted to collect the year after, show all the players on that team instead of collecting that team, have some guys who were no longer part of the team and were no factors of the World Series, really. Anyways, I digress. So I picked up the 69 Tops Earl Wilson card. Nice looking card. A little bit more on Earl Wilson. He grew up in uh, Louisiana, uh, in this, you know, in the um, segregated South a little bit. And probably more than a little bit, and um, he was a started on his, his baseball life, his youth as a catcher, and he had such a great arm. He ended up being switched to a pitcher as he got older, and we all know that Pumpsy Green was the first black to play for the Boston Red Sox, last team to integrate, 1959. But Earl Wilson was actually signed by the Red Sox prior to uh, Pumpsy Green. And when Pumpsy Green debuted in 59, Earl Wilson debuted with the Red Sox just a week later. So almost, instead of going after you guys are uh, collectors of the uh, barrier breakers, Earl Wilson could easily have been the guy to go after instead of Pumpsy Green, but history has Pumpsy Green. And just a week later, Earl Wilson debuted with the Red Sox. And in 1962... Um, he pitched a no-hitter, thus becoming the first African-American pitcher to ever th throw a, a no-hitter in American League history. Of course, it was done prior to the National League, and uh, but Wilson was the first AL African-American no-hitter pitcher in baseball history, which I did not realize. Um, he was he, uh, was a decent pitcher for the Red Sox. He had some good seasons, but. Uh, his career kind of took off when he was traded in 66 to the Detroit Tigers. And in the 60s, for uh, outfielder Dom Demeter, uh, 67th season, uh, Dom Demeter didn't do much for the Red Sox, and Earl Wilson became a key figure in the starting rotation of the Tigers. And then 19, the following year, in 1967, the Detroit Tigers, uh, for the Detroit Tigers, he won 20 games which put him part of a select fraternity of the Black Aces. Do you know what the Black Aces are? 
Former All-Star pitcher Jim Mudgrat Grant wrote a book in 2007, I believe, and it talked about the stories and careers of all the African-American and African-Canadian, Bergie Jenkins, uh, pitchers to win 20 games in one season. And, and to this date, I think there are 15 members, and each member is, knows of, uh, very aware of the fr little fraternity they have, and they are proud members of that select membership and Jim Mudcat Grant wrote about the Black Aces I'll let you Google them and let you uh, find out who the but Earl Wilson became a member of the Black Aces in 1967 when he won uh, 20 games the Detroit Tigers and this is he was the he's the only Tiger to be part of the Black Aces yet the reason why he said you know what I need to pick up an Earl Wilson card be a Tigers fan uh, following year, of course, 67 was the year that uh, Red Sox won the World Series in the Impossible Dream and yeah, it's a Triple Crown season. And if you're not uh, familiar with it, but the, the, the pennant came down to the very last day, weekend of the year, where the Tigers, the Red Sox, the Twins, and I think there may be the Orioles, or maybe one other team, possibly the Orioles, all were like right neck to neck and neck, but the Red Sox won it at the very end easily um, but uh, barely put out you know the rest of the guys and Tigers just missed winning the pin 67 but 68 they came back and they knew they were uh, they were on a team on a mission and knew they were uh, had a great team had a chance to win it all and they had a lot of comeback wins in 68 and they won the World Series and Wilson was the number three start behind Danny McLean 30 games and World Series Hero Mickey Lulich and uh, Earl Wilson is the number three starter in that uh, solid rotation. He had 69. He um, another full season of the Tigers, but he finished his career in 1970 as part of the San Diego Padres. So his best career se uh, seasons was with my Detroit Tigers. And Earl Wilson became a uh, uh, member of the Black Aces as a Tiger and a World Series champion. Post playing days, he moved back to Detroit and became worked in a regular life. He saw his, when he got traded to Detroit, he fell in love with the city because growing up in Louisiana, being African American, he always saw the other fellow black uh, citizens working for the man, working for somebody else. But when he uh, came to Detroit, he saw that there's some black. Uh, 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 citizens became were actually owners of businesses. They were the men, and that always drew the, uh, got uh, endeared him to uh, Earl Wilson. Uh, as the post playing days, he was very prominent in a BAT baseball assistance team. If you're not familiar, these they had a pr cards in the '94 Upper Deck All Time Heroes with these bat. They were basically a um, organization that. Uh, Wilson was very part big up in out that he was like higher up in the uh, in, in the organization and they were helping uh, ba former baseball players in need they needed uh, assistance in living baseball assistance team and uh, Earl Wilson was very prominent in that and he passed away uh, years ago and uh, and many uh, teammates and uh, they had fond memories of Wilson, the bat program, his teammates were, you know, Boston, Detroit, um, uh, thought he was a well, a well, a great dude, great teammate, and um, there you have it, that's the career of Earl Wilson, and I don't know if did I mention that he's hit 35 career home runs, can't remember why I did the beginning of the video, but anyways, um, that's Earl Wilson, first black uh, AL uh, no-hitter, part of the Black Aces and almost the first black player to get um, to play for the Red Sox. Thanks for watching. You have a good night.